Good afternoon. Uh, it is sometime in January. We got a bomb blizzard coming, apparently. Uh, hopefully getting up to two feet. I'm okay with that. I'm excited for that. Um, one of the things that I do have to take care of, though, is this guy. That's my beast. That's what I call it. That's what it is. Uh, but it needs a little bit of help so we can uh, go ahead and plow some snow at, uh, later on this weekend. So stick around. We're going to talk about that. So a couple things about this snow thrower. This is a 2004 uh, Craftsman, nine, nine horsepower, 29 inch dual stage snow thrower. Uh, so it's got some age to it, but it is in tip top shape. It runs mint, it has an electric start, but I literally single pole started every time. Uh, this was my grandfather's and it was given to me um, you know, after he had passed. And so I didn't need it back then when I was, uh, I had a much smaller driveway, but I took it and this thing has been around with me for a good, oh geez, where are we now? We are almost 13 or 14 years now that I've had this thing. So yeah, it's been around for a while, but let's talk about what's wrong with it, right? Let's get into that first. So the first thing you might notice is I got a cable here. I don't have a cable there. What happened? Well. These original throttle cables that were on this had the little uh, pre-made S-hooks that just kind of slid in. Um, they've both since passed, and yeah, you can find replacements there, but I put a replacement on this one already and it didn't work. It broke on me, so I just kind of got over it and I've manufactured my own setup here, which not only works really well, but it also, um, I think it's better than what was there on top of the fact that um, this is really awesome for a fix if you are ever in a jam and you can't go to the store, they don't have your throttle cable or the power equipment guy down the road is saying, oh, I need it for a week because I got to get uh, the parts for it. You go to Home Depot, you spend like five bucks and you can get this fixed yourself. So like I said, I already fixed this one. Now we're going to go do this guy finally because it broke. I was actually making do and you can see here's the wire. I wrapped it around a few times. This is nothing more than just rebar wire. It's very soft, it's very pliable, but it did the trick in a jam just to help me finish my driveway up. But now that we don't need that, we're gonna start using the right tools. So don't mind, my voice is a little off. I am a little cold, I got the heater on thankfully, but it's chilly out today. So the couple things you need for this, number one is gonna be the wire rope, which I did have. It's just, this is 330 seconds. Um, I could have done the 1 16th, but I felt that was maybe a little thin. Um, and that over time, maybe it would just kind of wear out. So 330 seconds, I got about four feet of it, which is definitely more than I need, but obviously you never want to buy just enough. Uh, we've got ourselves the links, the quick links for attaching this wire to that, um, to the holes or the openings on the handles. And then I've got two sets of these um, cables with uh, loop and end. So it's got, the, it's got the little guided loop and as well as the, uh, the crimps, if you will to keep everything together. So we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a throttle cable. Again, a couple bucks at your local uh, hardware store. Most of them have this kind of stuff and semi-permanent, it'll get you out of a jam and you don't have to sit there and wait for any parts to come in. Boom. So first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna kinda do this by eye. I'm not trying to get rulers out and tape measures and figure this all out. But I made an eyelet on the top end, give myself some extra. I've got my quick link hooked into that. And now I will know, don't forget this guy sits up most of the time, right? So he's in an upward position, which you can't see from there. So don't let it do this on you because that's gonna be taut. And if you do that, when it's supposed to be down and engaged, you're not gonna have the right length here. I'm nothing but slack. So up, the link is in. And now I'm gonna measure down to where I think the next island needs to be, which is probably gonna be right about here. And I can adjust that, but that'll grab what I need and I can put the quick click on the bottom. So I'm gonna mark this off, tape it up and start connecting. So you can see I made the connection up here. So you can see exactly where that's gonna sit. And now I can come down and do my measurement here. There we go. I got my eyelet already hooked on. And you can see there's the wire and that's actually going to sit a little bit loose. So we're going to take a new piece of tape. We want to pull on this. Now remember the handle is up. 
because that's what it is when it's not engaged. Down here, I want this to already have a little bit, of, I don't want it to hang down here, I want it to feel like it's ready to go. So it won't take much movement of the handle, right? So like here is kind of what I'm looking at. So I've got that marked as to where the eyelet needs to be. So where I put the tape, doesn't really matter so long as I got the eyelet mat marked. Done, I know exactly where I'm gonna be now. So I can take this, make my loop, and as you can see, when I pull on it, it'll do exactly what I needed to. Sweet, let's hook up this one. There we go. The next one, which you've already seen, this one should be a little neater. Pop that on, feed it through. And then I'll put this on gently and leave it loose. I'm not gonna go super tight. My fat fingers in the way, okay? That's what you get. our pieces here took it apart loading it on and I'm not doing it hard I'm doing a, a loose one here obviously because I want to fit the eyelet in so the eyelet goes in I bring it tight hold it with my fingers and make sure the wires aren't twisted you don't want this to do this on you right you don't want it to start doing that you want to keep them nice and straight so when you make this you grip it there and you hold it from the back there we go perfect and I'm not trying to make this some type of super secure thing here I'm not going to town I'm not making a tow cable this is literally just a simple throttle cable you're probably looking at this video going why is it 10, 15 minutes, all you're doing is replacing the throttle cable. Well, because well, I'm fabricating one. And I use the term fabricating lightly because I'm not building anything with welding and cutting. I'm just simply just connecting some wires. And I'm just making some wire rope. There we go. Now we just tighten this up with the seven and we'll do that again for the next one. So we got our one eyelet in. And again, it is by no means pretty or perfect but I'm not towing things with it. This is really a throttle cable. There's not gonna be a lot of tension going here all the time. So we did our connection. I took it off. I made it loose. I'm gonna do the same with this one. So let's just see if I can keep my fat fingers out of the way for this shot. This is like my fourth time trying to do this because all you see is my fingers. And this is the first time I'm using this little stand to do some up close work. So Again, I could be completely busting this up because I am not about to start buying ring lights and other crap to make this professional because I don't have that kind of time and neither do you. Because <laughs> if you're not buying ring lights and special equipment to do this project, I shouldn't have to do that to show you how to do the project. Okay, so there we go. See, I took it off, I put it on, and I'm just going back and forth now. As I feel it tight on one side, I'm going back to the other. And I'm just going to work my way down until I feel about the same level of tightness. There we go. There you go. Two eyelets, two eyelets made. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off this tape, and we're going to see how it mounts. Finished product. There you go. I probably could have gotten away with only three feet, but you know what? I got the extra if I need it, so... We come in here, we one-handed pop it on. If it decides to cooperate, there's that guy. He's on, remember, handle up. Come down here, you should see, let me put you down. There you go. Perfect. Now, here's the other end. So, now let's see if we can get this 
to cooperate. Come up a little bit. And go the other way. fun. There we go. And we'll tighten that one up. Tighten that up. And now you can see a little bit of play in it. So we're going to see if we need to tighten these up because if I need to adjust, I can always do it by just loosening these and pulling a little extra cable. So I'm not going to cut this excess yet. Even though I'm not gonna need it all, but that way I just don't have to worry about what I'm playing with. But I wanna make sure that when I pull down on this handle, like that, I'm getting full auger engagement and there's not anything else that that pulley can do for movement. So it comes up and that's full lock. So that's where I wanna be. So I gotta make sure that when I pull on this, and we'll try it right now. While you're here, might as well. I'm gonna pull it down. How much more movement do I get? tiniest bit to be full but so we're going to adjust this by just the tiniest little bit and then we're going to do the same over here because as you can see with this cable there's a ton of slap in here so we're actually going to probably move this down to one of these adjustables here make that nice and tight and we might even be able to adjust it on this side too so we're going to play with this one a little bit because we need to get some good traction drive so because it should be able to just be pulled and go and I shouldn't have to fight with it stalling out on me so that's that all right we are done I gotta just trim off the excess here but as you can see all set you pull locks in that's as tall as it goes same with this guy I did a little adjustment what I actually did here is I just moved them because you can see it already comes with the adjustable plate so you can mark and kind of change out to make the tension different. Um, so what I did is I just moved this down a dot and I've given myself all the extra tension I need to make a good solid connection to the friction plate. We're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. I did top it off with gas. Typically I'll check this out right before a storm regardless of how I take care of it, whether the storm happens a day from now, two days from now, three weeks from now. I just happen to go out before because I kind of keep track of the weather. Just make sure it's got gas on it, it's ready to go. I do a quick start of it, I check the oil. Just general things that you'd wanna to do to make sure that this thing is gonna run when you have to walk outside to do it and you're not sitting here staring at a shovel and you know all this extra driveway. So let's see what happens. Let's give it a quick start up. So I can do it one hand over here. Has it been started in two and a half weeks? Perfect. Take care, guys. 